Alright, so we're back with part four. Um, yeah, as you can see, part three and two's kind of got split, but went around, did some side quests, made these crazy assholes respawn. I guess they finally decided to leave me alone. But, uh, got some new goodies. Got the sword explosion, which, um, basically after you, you first meet up with Roland, you can go back to the town, and you have this quest to get a stone from a rock, and you get the sword explosion. So this thing's pretty sweet. It, uh, shoots out a sword, which splits into three other swords. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, and I also got... What was it? Oh, yeah. I got the the crit gun. And I'm not sure what's special about this one yet. I mean, it's a moxie weapon, so... Um, you know, I'm assuming that there's... Like, heals that come off of it, but... I haven't seen, like, a bonus to critical damage, or, like, guaranteed crits, or anything of that sort, so... I don't know. We'll probably play around with it a little bit in this part of the playthrough and um, see if it does anything. Anyway, let's see if we have anything worthwhile. No, nothing. And shitty pistols, ammo. Can always use ammo. Ah! God damn it. I hate mimics. Stay there. Blood in the water. I'm seeing red. Do I have? Okay. Do I have tie to tear on still? I also ended up doing this like tree side quest, and then you have to just defend a tree while it's uh like just wrecking the ore camp. I ended up switching the Nova back on for that just because it was a hell of a lot easier. What? Shut up! What's up, dude? Gatekeeper. Do do. Pretty sure I'm like full on almost all of my ammo. Don't think it's really necessary to open these, but why the hell not? Is that a skag over there? There's a vault symbol. Oh wow, it's a bunch of vault symbols. So if you haven't realized it yet, this uh, DLC just has like a shit ton. Of of references to various, you know, fantasy type things. There's like Lord of the Rings references. I'm seeing stuff to Dark Souls. I'm seeing stuff to Magic the Gathering, Final Fantasy. There's just tons and tons of shit. Okay, these fucking red dragon things need to die already. My axe is thirsty. It's a bad dragon. Want to savor your fear. Oh man, Krieg just I wanna live inside a does not stop. of your agony, and I want to crumble it with an axe to your carotid artery. The bad basilisk. Is it a dragon? It is. It's another dragon. Uh, I don't really. Those dragons didn't drop any decent loot before. I'm not gonna waste time and fuck around with them now. Let's make our way into the mines of Avarice. Okay. You enter the dwarven mines. You hear the anguished wails of the sorcerers, political prisoners, and enslaved dwarves. Oh, defense shrine. These mines house Ragnar, king of the dwarves and leader of the anti-sorcerer resistance. Mayhaps, if you talk to the dwarves, you could join forces and become unstoppable, mayhaps. Don't worry, boys. My charisma is off the charts. I'll convince him to... Uh, 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 I wanna hear you <laughs> <laughs> Winning! <laughs> Looks like gonna God damn. These four captains are all up on my shit. How are you not dead? Now, will you? Will you? 
for your death now and forever. Radio. Damn black widows. No? No, it's looked like you could break them. Box cover! Box cover! I'm the one who eats the stuff. I'm the hero of all the villains. <laughs> you can't swallow my morality like a lollipop pill. I'll run around your mind and set the world record with my meat sleeves. I wish I could just, like, stop Creed from talking so damn much. Like, when he starts, he just, like, rambles. Sword explosions. So, it's a cool gun in theory. I mean, the damage isn't anything spectacular. I think maybe if I had, like, a... Uh, I don't know, something to boost the explosion damage. It could be really sweet, but... And this SMG is not really doing anything amazing either. Much bigger fan of just chucking axes at the face of my enemies. Or faces, I suppose. But um, in case you guys are wondering what's to come, obviously we're gonna have all of this DLC. And uh, I decided that just like playing one game at a time was kind of burning me out. So I'm gonna go ahead and start juggling like multiple games. So this whole walkthrough probably won't even be uploaded until I guess like a week. But I'm gonna be working on uh, working on this, obviously, and then on top of that, I'm gonna have some uh, some stuff from Deadpool, and then there'll be uh, the Dragon's Dogma Let's Play will be out as well. Uh, what else? I got a Dota 2 video. I'm gonna be trying to do like a weekly Dota 2 series on just like crazy shit that happens throughout the week that you guys will be able to submit um, videos for as well. And then, of course, I'll end up finishing Remember Me. Gonna have some uh, the new Magic the Gathering Duels of the Planeswalkers comes out tomorrow, so I'll probably end up doing a little live stream of that because I play the shit out of Magic, and it's a blast to just ruin kids. But um, in short, there's just gonna be a ton of shit coming, and it'll be all over the place, so figure it'll be fun, you know, mix things up a little bit so that it's not just like, you know, like. 20 Borderland videos, and then 20 Remember Me videos, and then 20 Dragon's Dogma videos. Oh, this thing's big. I'm just gonna let you guys light on fire. Level 64, Warlock Turge. Wow. Pretty beefy. Kill this dick and heal real quick. Ah! Get the fuck away from me. Oh shit. So each thing I kill, this dick levels up. Alright, well if that's that case, we're gonna have to... I'm gonna make sure that I have enough oomph to kill this dick, so let's... No! Fuck! Alright, uh, I thought he had like one shitty orc with him. Where'd the shitty orc go? Where's he at? There he is. Okay, kill this orc captain. Level up that dick again, but I'll heal. Get a little bit lower. No, 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 no. You don't need to level up. Oh, shit. He's just, like, enraged or something. Damn it. Really? Fucking. I'm going to have to just drop Light the Fuse. Like, I'm honestly just getting fucking sick of it. Like, as far as I'm concerned, considering those little explosions only do, like, 192,000, and the big explosion does, like, 2 million... That fucking orc should have died. And he didn't. And that's that's bullshit, as far as I'm concerned. Either way, we're gonna run back over there real fast. And I'm not sure, but I kinda have this feeling like since we were as we were killing those guys, so the big orc was leveling up, I almost feel like uh 
it's it's similar to the system with like the Am Ong thing where you know you let stuff die around it and it levels up and it turns into like a, a super badass and you get a weapon off of it. So I'm wondering if if maybe uh, killing shit around this guy will level up him to where he's like a super mode and then you get awesome loot off of him. God, it's ridiculous how fast I heal when I have the shield and the ruby on. That's oh. what you get, dick. What did he drop? Jackal? Switch that back to stop the epilepsy inducing fire novas. I thought it was the orc I was just fighting was called something else. It wasn't that guy. So maybe he doesn't level up. Maybe it's just, just a random, uh, like, high level orc that I fight. Here's where I was fighting the other one at, though, and I don't see him. What's this? Defense shrine, yes. Ooh, that's a crumpet. Oh, hang on. Yes. Ha. I should actually check to see where those are all at real fast while we're here. All right, there's one that's right here. <clears throat> we're going to grab that one real fast, and then we'll put a marker on the last one. Got to get them crumpets. You know how Tiny Tina gets without her crumpets. <coughs> Wonder what shrine this one is. So no, just the defense shrine. So they're all just defense shrines. Hey, 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 get back here. No, fuck. Where the hell is this thing going? Fuck, man. Stop running away from me. Little shit. Ugh. I swear I hit X like as it was going by. Pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, it's, that's close enough. Alright, so we killed a bunch of statistic dwarf invaders. Let's make our way over to find the dwarf king. We'll grab this last crumpet. And by the way, I definitely, I'd start that quest like as soon as you can, because like it started with grabbing uh, some crumpets around the town, and then I grabbed some in the woods, and then some in the mortal woods, and now they're over here in the dwarf thing, so it'd be good to, to start that quest like at the beginning, since... Like, I guess each area you go through, there's going to be more crumpets. And that way you can uh, progress it along as you're moving along throughout the story. Doo -doo. The hell? What is your problem? I embrace the flame. Yeah, honestly, I just can't see anything special about this SMG. Alright, so Dwarven King's that way. Let's run up here and get the last crumpet. But I mean, our regular hits... Look, I think our regular hits were like 30k. And the crits were around 125. That's not like... You know, any massively significant values up there okay wizards crossing i don't really want to go there yet i want that though uh i have a fire weapon on i do not
Huh. Maybe I can't get to that yet? No. I gotta be missing something here. Alright, so it goes up there. That's up there. And as far as I can tell... Well, it actually looks like something I might be able to get up top. There's a land bridge here. Next to that. Okay. So... What is... Oh, that's just a save thingy. I want my crumpet. Camp Dwarf Torture. Another blunt name. Maybe I just loop around here. And of course there's a gate. There's some magical liquid. Maybe it's not magical. Come on. Fuck. thinking if I go around this thing, then I can like, climb on top of this and then go that way. Either way, that takes me to Hatred Shadow. I don't know where that goes, so... Ah, fuck. I guess for now I can't get that last crumpet. Pain in the ass. It's gotta be... Oh, there's a chest there, too. Yeah, so it's definitely something like I go around up top and that thing probably like either gets lowered down or brought up top to where I'm at. So for now, we'll go see the Dwarven King. Over here, laddie. My boys are itching to fight by your side. I punch him. Oh, God. Rick, don't. If you just talk to him, we can... I punch him. Uh... Win it! <laughs> <laughs> you came to the wrong mind. Oh, God. He's on fire. Get out, get out, get out! Leave it to break. Rolling 20s and punching shit. It's a scarlet sword! You're killing me here, Brick. I'm getting taunted by a 13 year old girl doing the voice of a grown man. I told you guys we should have waited for Roland to play. His character has the highest leadership skill. Okay. So I can't go that way any further. Really? I just have to leave the mines? I guess, yeah, there's no door there or anything. Um. And the mine exit is over at the, uh, what is it? Hatred Shadow. Hmm. So the question still remains, how the hell do I get through that gate and get up there? Oh. Dwarf smash. So there was actually another gate over there as well. I wonder where that goes. That's another area, so I'm guessing I probably get some kind of key I get, I guess, farther in the story, and that'll let me uh, go to one of those places. Closed for your safety. In the distance, you see a lonely wizard blocking your path. Maybe he can help us out of here. I say we talk to him. Oh, With God. Words. I don't know why y'all looking at me. Another band of adventurers looking to take down the sorcerer. Look, you won't make it. You'll either die or be enslaved. And I can't in good conscience let you continue in your foolhardy quest. You shall not pass! Wow. Hey! You're talking to me! Damn it! <laughs> Fine. If you really want to get to the sorcerer's castle, I'll mark the exit on your map. But if you die... You won't be able to say I didn't warn you, because you'll be dead. Huh. The exit is locked by Dwarven door locking magic. Well, damn! 
Now how do we get out of here? You know, that wizard may know something about dwarven door locking magic. Alright, back to the wizard. I'm guessing I just gotta like take that cog and probably put it and it all unlocks, but down to the wizard we go. Which why the hell is he running away? Why does everything leave when I need it? It's like that damn minecart. Looks like he's going towards the gate that I needed to open up. me about dwarven door magic? No way! That's like my third favorite type of magic! Look, you're gonna need the secret dwarven passphrase to open the door. Go find some weird runes scattered around the mines. I, I bet those are the letters making up the passphrase. If you'll find the letters, you can probably get out of here. In fact, I found one just the other day. But you can't have this one. You can find your own. I love this thing. Fact! All great wizards have big beards. Now, nice. you could that looks like a symbol the for their beard. Alright, well, looks like he has a quest to get him a beard. Dwarven facial hair. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I just killed dwarves to get that, so. One, let it down. Or if I can actually switch this shit. Nope, can't. Crush. Ah, fuck this thing. Oh my god. Can't move. Fuck you, rock golem, you dick. Crush drunk dwarves, beard picked up, get dwarves drunk. Alright, well we will... Let me see something. That is all right up ahead. So we're going to put the quest on to find letters. I'm going to go take care of crushing these dwarves real fast. First, now that we're finally up here, we're getting that last damn crumpet. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, whew, for a second there, I was like, no! Believe you may need salad! No, it wasn't! It was tasty! That's the problem! Roll to 20. Except that that kind of sucks. <laughs> well, either way, I can, I'm getting broke. I can sell it. Alright, so let's go find these letters. I'm assuming along the way to find the letters, I'll probably find plenty of dwarves that I can... Uh, drunk ones that I can crush. And if not, then I'll just do it in that little spot over there where it was marking before. Right, which actually, we're gonna... Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. Man, fuck these golems. We 
feeling this thing is just going to keep chasing me. You need to fuck off. Because now you're blocking the chest and I can't see what's in it. Ooh, last mods. This is the thing with the new class mods that are released, which is... Ooh, what the hell? When did I get this? Miss Moxie's Grog Nozzle. Oh, is that for this quest? He asked you to kill by luring them into the mining equipment. You can collect some of the bloody facial hair that results in the carnage. Forge it into a brand new beard. I'm guessing I got it for the quest. Uh, hand over the keys, sugar. Damn, 50% chance to slag. Damn, let's toss that on. We'll try that out. I'm guessing it, like, makes the dwarves drunk or something. And, um, oh yeah, that's right, class bonds. So, um, as you can see, they're all made with, uh, like, there's different alignments. You know, lawful good, chaotic evil, neutral good. But from what I can tell, certain alignments will always have certain things. Like, these are both good, and they both have reload speed. Yeah, this one has reload speed, reload speed. So I guess lawful good is always reload speed and weapon accuracy. Chaotic evil would be crit damage and fire rate. I guess that would make neutral magazine size. But so there's different combinations of them. They have different base attributes, but it looks like the... Uh, I'm guessing they all they always have the same general things. Like the wires don't talk, made of center stuff, strength of five gorillas. So I'm assuming that an epic one would have all three of those. Yeah, ranger, impact, grit, man, money shot at bestos, sexual tyrannosaurus. But, um... Yeah, nothing too crazy about them. Picked a bunch up. Probably gonna end up just selling most of them. And what the hell? That's right, I was on uh, Dwarven Allies, which looks like I'm gonna have to go through the middle of that dwarf camp. <laughs> 